thing which for which i'm very happy is that when people contact you by saying that i saw one of your vlogs there was one guy he said i came to join as a phd uh, for the first time in netherlands and i saw your supermarket vlogs it helped me a lot when i went to the supermarket that feels really good Welcome to week 28 with a fresh new experience of my PhD week. If you are new to the channel then please subscribe to my channel and see all the videos that I've done about studying and living in Netherlands which will help you and share among your friends. Let's move to what happened in this week. Hello, so this week I was mostly busy in combining all of my rejected papers to two of the journals that I mentioned earlier that I'm going to combine them to two journals so that you get an overview of uh, it's like you write I had made a video it will be in the information card in the top right corner so you go on writing different uh, you produce different articles to conferences or journals and if some of them get rejected and in some way you can uh, define a structure for your future paper uh, instead of wasting that work that has not been accepted yet till now you can combine all of them to maybe one article where I am referring to as the journal now so it will be like in 20 days or in a month I have the deadline for this so that's why I am working on that so that I can submit uh, for that conference or journal whatever you want to call it I mean it's a journal so the thing is that I'm very happy uh, that I'm reworking that and trying to get into the I mean I'm rereading all of that because I don't remember some of the components that I had mentioned before in that uh, in a way I'm rereading my own article so you need to do something like that otherwise you cannot uh, that's how PhD is you need to uh, read stuff reread stuff this, this happens always so let's introduce you to my new green family I think one of my colleagues who gave it to me when he left for Spain he was actually from Spain but when he left he gave this to me the thing is never lose your spirits always keep them high I have mentioned that multiple times in different videos you might have seen and so the thing is that moral of the story is that never feel down uh, better late than never that's the word so you might have seen in one or two of my past blogs that I am going to attend the CSCL conference although I don't have a publication but as my promoter gave me a workshop so I am doing that and so that's pretty much because this week I was mostly busy in this and one thing I want to mention which for which I'm very happy is that when people contact you by saying that I saw one of your vlogs there was one guy he said I came to join as a PhD uh, for the first time in Netherlands and I saw your supermarket blogs it helped me a lot when I went to the supermarket that feels really good I mean the satisfaction that you get when people say that these kind of blogs help them maybe the supermarket or maybe the food blog or maybe the living in Netherlands there are different types of blogs so you feel a kind of a satisfaction and that satisfaction is countless you cannot equate it with some mon mon money or anything like that so that's the moral like I feel happy by uh, serving people in some way that they also feel happy and I also answer many questions in Quora apart from these vlogs which also help people to know about before coming to Netherlands and what they can expect after coming so keep watching smash the thumbs up button if you like the video although it is very short and not that much informative and subscribe to the channel share among your friends and till next week peace
so if you have not seen this camera so i am using this canon m50 us m50 with the rode microphone this is my new blogging camera mostly for indoor blogging